Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm back with a new video for y'all, and today we are going to be making a crayfish hideout out of PVC for my native largemouth bass tank. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a hideout with the PVC, and then we're going to make uh, a layer of rocks on top of it to make it look like a rock pile, a natural hideout for these crayfish because. The reason being I want to do this because I not only want to hide out for the crayfish, but I also want to keep that natural instinct on hunting for food for my largemouth bass. So let me go ahead and put the camera down, get the angle just right, and let's go ahead and start gluing these PVCs. And I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to do all that. So let's get to it. So we're going to be using Gorilla Glue because we don't need a lot of glue, right? We don't need a lot of glue or anything. We just need to put a drop here and there. So what I'm going to do is this is going to be our centerpiece right here. And then we're going to start off with this one. Put this one at like a little angle. That way rocks can go right here. Crayfish can climb up. So what I'm going to do is put some Gorilla glue right here. Leave that sit for a second. There we go. Leave that sit for a second. Let that glue dry. Now that's that's dried. Let's go ahead and do the same up over here. That one like that. Now we'll put this one. Because it. it doesn't give it a tight fit when you're putting the fittings in. So I just got to push down for a few seconds. Let that go like that. And then we're going to put these ones on this side. But we're also going to turn it just like that. Okay. So get that at the angle that we want it at. Do just like that. Okay. Same thing. We push down for a few seconds. Let that get dried up. We don't need it to be perfect, we just need it to hold it while we put it in the tank. Okay, so that's good right there. Now, Now we're gonna go ahead and do this side. Okay, put this one that way. 
take your Gorilla Glue, put some right there. Hold it up, hold it in place for a few seconds, you know. Okay, what we're going to do is, I'm just going to put that right there for right now. We got that glued up. You guys can take a look at it. So the crawdads will be able to crawl inside of here, have little hideouts, crawl through here and stuff, right? Crawl through the sides and everything. So you guys can see right there, crawl right in there, crawl through the top. So they'll have natural hideouts and stuff, right? And then we're gonna cover this with rock. So what I need to do is I need to get the big tank ready for this and I will be right back. Okay, I rinsed off some rocks, which is I know I'm gonna need more. Just got some bigger rocks to go on top of that. So let's go ahead and let me see here. Put them inside of here. Just gonna put it somewhere right here. So let me go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and get this in there. That actually looks good. That's kind of where I want it at because right where I have it at, right? I have a small rock pile with some branches. So this is gonna look like a rock pile right on outside of the branch. So that's gonna look good. All right, let's go ahead and put some rocks on it. Okay, what I actually want to do first is Big rock right here. Another big rock right here. Get these other ones that I got here. So what, one thing I have to do is I just can't pour the rock right on top of it, right? Because it will go inside of the PVC. So what I'm going to do is get the rock in here. Rock still may be a little bit murky in case I didn't fully get see a rock this morning. But crayfish will actually move rock around, believe it or not. So I'm not too concerned about that. Okay. 
Right, we've got that on there. So let's go ahead. Rearrange it a little bit right here. Actually, I know what I'll do. I have some leftover smaller gravel from a previous video that we can top off on here. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that. So far, so good. Let me go rinse off some more rock real quick. All right. Back with some more rock. So, this time, I'm going to take a little bit of that here. have some smaller gravel from my last video that we'll actually top this off with. Well, add to it, I should say. That actually looks pretty cool now, even though I kind of buried a lot of it. So we can just go like this. And like I said, crawdads will actually, when they go to make a hole, they'll actually move stuff out. You know what I mean? It's not like they'll stay like this. Even if I make this perfect, They'll just rearrange it anyway, so I'm not too concerned about it. But obviously, we want to try to do what we can in there. Got some more of this gravel here. Okay. And then I have another bag of that. Let me just open her up real quick. I'm going to go wash off a little bit more rock. We're going to top this off with a little bit more bigger rock. And just kind of disperse the rock so it looks like a rock bottom. 
and then we'll fix up the holes. So I will be right back. All right, got more rock wash. This should be the last of it here. So like I said, I'm not trying to make this perfectly hidden because like I keep mentioning, the crayfish will just move rocks around anyway, which is completely fine. And so now what we'll do is we'll clean up around the openings, kind of hide them a little bit better. This one back here we really need to open up. I was going to spread out more gravel and stuff, more rock, but I actually just kind of want to make just this rock pile, actually. That actually looks really, really cool. I right, this is actually better than what I expected to be on the I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying to perfectly hide it just because crayfish move stuff around. And just kind of make it their own. And so I'm gonna let that happen once we get the crayfish, which should be later this week, hopefully. But yeah, so let me go ahead and show y'all. In fact, did I get that one opening over there? No, I didn't. There we go, there. All right, perfect. There we go. Let me go ahead, get the camera positioned, and I will show y'all. And there it is. Opening here, there, 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 there. And right here. I actually didn't see that till right now. I gotta open that one up. Or just leave it and let the crayfish naturally clean it. And there's the opening there. And obviously right on the other side of that. But yeah, so that's what we did for our crayfish hideout for our largemouth bass. What up, baby? And so now what's going to happen is the crayfish have somewhere to hide and stuff like that. So if they get buried up, meaning have babies or something, they actually have a place to hide. The little crayfish will actually have places to hide. And so now what I want to do is I want to do something like this. That's on this side to go over on. There's a huge glare, but to go on this side of the tank. So that way there's branches coming this way as well. Then a rock pile in the center which is I got to get more of the bigger rocks and probably scatter those out as well. But yeah, I think it looks good. Let me know down in the comments what y'all think. And actually, if y'all have actually made a crayfish hideouts as well in your tanks, let me know. Send me a link to the video so I can go ahead and check that out as well. All right, y'all. So that wraps it up for today's video. That actually looks really cool. Yeah, I want to get like a piece of driftwood to come over the back of it or something would actually look but uh, that does it for today's, today's video. Thank you for watching. And when I get crayfish, hopefully later this week, I'll make a video of that, me putting them in the tank and see how quickly they find this hideout. All right, y'all. Stay tuned for more videos. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Appreciate y'all. Have a good one.